For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. It's very simple. The fact is that we have the story of the birth of Jesus. And we have the story of the death of Jesus and the burial of Jesus, and the resurrection of Jesus. And what the world would call Christmas and Easter. And the very fact is, the reason why we have those stories, the reason why God manifested in the flesh, left a heavenly throne to be born in a manger where animals ate and stayed, and suffered a brutality death of suffering and died by crucifixion is because of you and me. You see, the reason why Jesus Christ suffered and died is we cannot save ourselves. We cannot enter into the presence of God by what we are. For the Bible says that God says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And yet the Bible says about you and me, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And because we are a sinner, the wages of sin is death. And if God did not come and manifest himself as God and as human, every human being would die and go to hell. Because there would be no way of salvation. There would be no hope if God did not manifest himself to be human and to be God. We would be hopeless without Jesus. And without Jesus, you are hopeless. And the Bible tells those that are saved, like me, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh, suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's God. You know what we do good? Because we are sinners, we die very well. And when we die, we get buried very well. But if you check the graveyards, they don't come out of the grave. We die because we are sinners. The wages of sin is death, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And in that case, when you die, you will wake up in a place called hell. And the love of God is, behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Now, it said the Lamb of God. It didn't say the religion of God. It didn't say the baptism of God. It didn't say do good of God. It said the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And Peter writes to us the precious blood without spot of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. And when John the Baptist says, behold, the Lamb of God, here comes Jesus to begin his ministry. And Jesus said, I am come that the lost might be saved. Jesus has come that we might have eternal life. 
Jesus has come because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. And the very reason why we have Jesus Christ is that man may not perish. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And without Jesus Christ, you are in condemnation. And when you die, you'll be in damnation. In a place called hell forever. Because the way to get to heaven is the way of Jesus Christ. God manifested in the blood. The hope of God of eternal life is the blessed hope of God, Jesus Christ. The very reason of Jesus that mankind, the sinner, can have access to the heaven to God the Father. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You will not get to the Father with religion. You will not get to heaven by what you do. It's not a work. It's for by grace that you saved through faith and not of yourselves. And the gospel that we are told to preach is not, look at what I can do. The gospel we're told to preach is, look at what Jesus has done. You can die. And that would be scriptural. You can die a scriptural death. The wages of sin is death. You can do that. And they can bury you. It'd be expensive, but they can bury you. You can do that. Well, you can't do that. Your family and friends would have to do that. But you cannot come out of the grave out of your own power three days and three nights, which is the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You cannot resurrect yourself out of that grave. You know what's the difference between religion and Jesus? The empty tomb. There are popes still in the ground, dead. There are religious leaders still dead. There are preachers and rabbis and priests and pastors that are still in the ground, dead. Jesus Christ, up from the grave, he arose, the angel proclaimed, he's not here. He is risen. That's the difference between Jesus and religion. Religion is dead. Jesus is alive and seated at the right hand of the Father. Now the Bible goes to record that over 450 people saw the resurrected Jesus. There are tons of people that will go see a dead body of their religion, a dead body of their government, and they're not coming up, they're not going up, they ain't going nowhere, they're still dead. But 450 people plus saw the resurrected Jesus. And the story of the birth of Jesus, and the story of the death of Jesus, and the story of the burial of Jesus, and the story of the resurrection of Jesus, is because of mankind cannot get to heaven except by Jesus. It's that simple. You're not going to come up to God and say, God, I'm a Baptist. That's a failure. And you just can't call yourself a Christian. Oh, I'm a Christian. You don't even know what a Christian is. A Christian is a person that has put his faith in Jesus Christ, nothing else. You don't eat Jesus, you don't drink Jesus, you don't do nothing for Jesus. Jesus has done it all for you. It's that plain and simple. The glory of God is not you. The glory of God is Jesus. The hope of man is Jesus. It's never man. 
The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that plain and simple. And Jesus said, I am the way to the Father. How dare you try to get to God outside of what the Bible and outside of Jesus' own words? And you'll be found at fault. And you'll be found at wrong. If your salvation is anything but Jesus or without Jesus at all. You see, even if the possibility, if you were to think, oh, there is no God. I'm safe. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. The Bible has the answer. Man and Satan will come up with many deceitful works. And yet there is only one work that will get you to glory. And that work is in Jesus Christ alone. It's a wonderful, blessed, glorious hope that Jesus Christ saved. And he's able to save you. I don't care how much of a wicked sinner you are. The fact is, all have sinned. Sin is sin no matter what degree it is. Everyone sinned. And you need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. We come here and bring you Jesus. And nothing but Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of God, Acts 20, 28, that is able to save your soul. It is you repenting of your sins and putting your sins upon Jesus. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. He is not a priest. He is God that's able to forgive and cleanse. You're not going to go to another sinner with your sins and have God absolve your sins. It's like washing a car with mud. It don't work. It makes you filthier. And when you go to another man to say, take away my sins, you are sinning against God. You are not getting rid of your sins. You're adding more sins to sin. And making yourself viler. If your hope ain't in the blood of Jesus Christ, you have no hope. There is no hope in the Pope. There is the blessed hope, Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You have a sin condition. And only Jesus can cleanse you of that sin. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the work of Calvary. In order to have your sins atoned, you need God. That ain't a priest. That ain't you. And if you think you are a God, you are a small G-O-D. You need capital G-O-D, which is Jesus. God died on that cross for you. God was buried in the tomb for you. God came out of that tomb three days and three nights according to scripture to say, religion failed, Jesus saved. And, well, preacher, I am a good person. The Bible says there's none that do it good. No, not one. So how can you do something when the Bible says you can't do it? The Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way. That's it. There is no other way to get access to God. Now you want to get to the devil? You want to go to hell? 
Do whatever you want to do, don't do nothing at all. Just reject Jesus. But if you want to go before God and be right, and you want to go to heaven and be holy, you've got to do it in the name and in the person of Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh. There is no other name given amongst men, that name is Jesus, whereby you must be saved. Jesus said you must be born again. Your first birth, you were born in sin. Every man has told a lie. Every person has disobeyed their parents. Everybody has stolen something. Listen, you take something and you did not ask for it and it's not yours, you stole it. A little white lie is a sin. I'll tell you the biggest lie that's coming up that you are a sinner. That there is a Santa Claus. Now that's a lie. You'll be more to teach your children about Santa Claus than Jesus Christ. Santa Claus is a lie. Jesus Christ is the truth. It's that plain and simple. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Paul says he's the chiefest sinner. You look at me, I'm a bad, I'm a wicked sinner. And I'm saved. I still need to confess my sin. If I were to get to heaven on my account, I would not get to heaven. The only way I can please God is what please God, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says it pleased God that Jesus Christ was bruised and tortured for our sins. You have to be cleaned of your sins and you can't do it and no other man can do it. Only the blessed hope of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, would take away the sin of the world. That's the only way. You are not safe without Jesus. You are hopeless without Jesus. And you've got to be forewarned. Because the Bible says there's another Jesus out there. You know, there's a religious Jesus. And if it ain't the Jesus according to the Bible, you don't have God's salvation. You are alone in the world and without hope with another Jesus. You've got to have the Jesus that is God. You've got to have the Jesus that is Jewish of the tribe of Judah. You cannot have a Jesus that's nailed to a cross still. That Jesus that hangs between your breasts is not the Jesus of the Bible because the Bible says they took him down off the cross and they buried him and he's seated at the right hand of the Father never more to die. He offered one sacrifice for all. Mary's Christ Mass can't save your soul. Don't put Christ in Christmas. He was never there. You see, you got to have the biblical Jesus. The world has all kinds of Jesuses, and they're, they're a dime a dozen plus shipping and handling. You can find a you can find an unbiblical Jesus at, at the store. You can have an unbiblical Jesus delivered to your house, and you can find an unbiblical Jesus in your church. You better have the Jesus that is God manifest in the flesh without sin with the pure blood of God that was shed for you that you might have eternal life. The Bible says he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God abiding upon him. 
You need the sun. Capital S-O-N. You need Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. The glorious hope. The Son of God who is also God. Mary can't do nothing for you. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, 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 Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. The mediator between God and man has to be a man. Mary can't do it. She's a female. And plus, she's a sinner. According to the scriptures of Mary, she brought her sin and sacrifice when she gave birth to Jesus. She brought two pigeons or two doves. When she had the Lamb of God in her hand, it's that simple. Do you want to know God? Do you want to please God? You got to do it in the name and the person of Jesus Christ. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of people who got baptized. Hell is full of people who go to church. Hell has no one that has received and asked Jesus Christ to cleanse them of their sins and to be washed in the Lamb. It's that simple. When we read and hear about the story of the manger, we are hearing about God being born in that manger. Job says, God, do you have eyes as I have? God says, no, nope, I don't. God, do you know how I feel? And God told Job, nope. And when Jesus Christ lived 33 and a half years, and he hungered, and he thirsted, and he slept, and he wept, God could turn to Job and said, I now know. When Jesus wept, it was God that wept over his friend Lazarus. Are you in pain and suffering? So was Jesus for you. And he had more pain and more suffering than any man could fathom. And he's the only man who is God without sin that can wash you of your sins and cleanse you and make you free. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Through God the Father, by Jesus Christ the Son. That's it. The payments of sin the death insurance, the premium was paid by Jesus on the cross. And it was finished at the empty tomb. God's glory is not you. It's not me. The glory of God today is His Son is being lifted up. His son is being prayed. It's all about God. It's all about Jesus Christ. Salvation is of God through Jesus Christ. And that's it. There is nothing else that you can do that can please and adhere to God but Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. You don't have to walk for life. You got to believe in the life that's set forth in Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. 
Your walk is in vain without Jesus. For all have sinned. The condition you are walking for is the fact that men are sinners. And you need the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is nothing else. There is no one else that's able to save your soul and then that of Jesus Christ alone. And Jesus Christ walked to Calvary's cross that you may have eternal life. Jesus Christ suffered and died that you may have the life offered by God, the eternal life, and that life is in Jesus and Jesus alone. There is no other than that of Jesus. There is nothing else that settles the account. The old account was settled long ago. And that account was settled through Jesus Christ. I love to tell the story of Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of salvation. It is the power to get to God. It is the power that pleases God, Jesus Christ. The Bible says again, Go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. You can't do that. Your priest can't do that. Your pastor can't do that. Your mother can't do that. God did it through Jesus Christ. Plain and simple. The glory of God is Jesus. You have no glory without Jesus Christ. Salvation is set, going to heaven is set by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, hey, hey, look. and hey, the light. Hey, look, I got a tattoo of God on my arm. Can you see it? Nope. You can't? You need more faith, man. You just need more faith. You have enough faith, you'll be able to see that tattoo of God. Okay. I've got the faith set forth in God through Jesus Christ. The love of God is Jesus. For the Bible says, all, for all, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus. Because without Jesus, John said it is the wrath of God, and the wrath of God is hell. All right, uh, and when you go to hell, you get no relief. The Bible speaks about hell as a place of torment. And you need not to go. You must be born again. You must put your faith. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's that simple. Check. God's love is he don't want you to go to hell. God's not willing that any should perish. That's long suffering. It's an amazing fact that I woke up this morning so, so God could use me to preach the gospel. It's amazing that God has brought you to the farmer's market to hear the gospel. And that's God telling you, it's my son, it's only my son. I want you to come to my son. I want you to believe on my son. That's why I sent that loudmouth preacher. That's why I sent you to hear about my son. Because you may go to church and hear a lot. You want to love God, you got to love Jesus. If you got to love Jesus, you got to love the biblical Jesus. You can't bargain shop for God. You can, but they won't get you to heaven. You cannot have a God made in Taiwan, made in China, made in America. You got to have the God that was made by God, who is God, who was born of a virgin that was born to die upon Calvary for our sins. That's that simple. The Bible speaks about an afterlife. 
and that afterlife is heaven by Jesus alone and hell by anything and nothing at all. It's so simple to go to hell and it's simpler to go to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You want to go to hell? Give tithes, go to church, get baptized, give money, do a walk, do this, do that, do this, do this, do that, do this, do that. Jump over hoops, go here, go there, go. That can get you to hell. And you will be deceived to think you're okay doing those things. You want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Are you a good person? The Bible says there is none good, no, not one. You're not good. The Bible says you're not good. The Bible says I'm not good. You need the hope in Jesus, the blessed hope. One sin to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. And I have made you sinners today. Because I told you what is good, Jesus. You have heard that Jesus saved. And when you don't believe on Jesus, you sin. And I made you without excuse. You know, you can't say, God, I never heard. What do you think that loud mouth guy was preaching about the whole time? No, let me. What do you think that loud mouth was screaming about the whole time? He was screaming about my son. He was preaching the gospel that I told him to go preach. You want to be faithful to God? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's being faithful to God. And when you get saved, then you find a Bible, believe in church, and you get right. Church is for after salvation, like baptism is after salvation. Beautiful morning out. You don't get baptized, you don't go to church for salvation. That comes after. My name is Charlie Mack. I'll be the music. There's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved, and that name is Jesus. And Jesus is more pure and more better than the music provided. That's what the farmer's market is all about. Is guys God's manifested love is in his son Jesus, who is him. You want a real natural savior? You come to Jesus. 100% God, no artificial preservative, no artificial ingredients. Jesus Christ is 100% pure God. And that blood that throws through Jesus was God's blood, and that blood is able to cleanse you of your sins. Right. And the title of Baptist can't save you. In the name of Jesus, you can be saved. Got LA's meat pies right over here. Meat pies, sausage rolls, bravoes. There's a piece, cauliflower crust. I don't know what the soup of the day is, but I'm sure it's fabulous. LA's home kitchen cooking right here. Cauliflower crust kitchen, keto friendly, all for you. There's no greater love that when a friend will lay down his life. Of course they are, they've been coming to this market for some way for years. That's right, 100 percent natural, preserved it free, delicious jelly. There's no greater love than the love of God. That love of God is Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Put a little love in that bucket. You make them